All right, guys, Miles here, and welcome to another Power of Destruction video. It's been so long since I've played the Wind POD. Power of Destruction in general, I haven't been playing this game mode because I was running out of gold, doing a lot of tests on the guild boss, trying to increase my score, uh, improving my artifacts, etc. So, uh, because we got some good amount of gold from the codes as well as the events the lucky clover event then i got the chance now to be able to switch some artifacts do some proper builds and yeah i'm not sure if this one is a good score but i'll just show you guys what i did here you might be able to get some ideas that you can do with your runs so here's the lineup that i used and for both runs i used west wind and plum sword so my team one is gogun he min as well as Maylin with 2.1 billion and then my team two is the usual uh, win team so yeah just like always show you the replay i'm gonna show you the build gonna show you the stats gonna show you everything and also do let me know if you have suggestions that i can do to improve my runs because i'll be honest with you guys i haven't really been able to focus much on a pod because guild boss is the current priority but yeah i hope this video will still at least be able to help you guys with your runs and just real quick guys before we proceed to the first run if you love the content that we're doing here in our channel please do consider supporting me in the net marble content creator program we're currently ranked number four 476 supporters thank you so much for all the support and quick shout out to our top supporter sleep i think this is uso shout out to you bro uh, mr bombastic god level shakur and we have a couple of nids here you guys can change your nickname by the way well i haven't changed mine yet <laughs> i'm kind of lazy to do that but yeah thanks so much for the support really appreciate you all guys and if you guys need some codes we have here essence stones and the next one uh, net marble has not sent it to me yet but it will arrive probably in over the next few days just in case you need these codes make sure to support me i'm gonna send them every few hours and you're gonna be able to redeem them here in your net marble account all right let's go to the first run
for Genius build, uh, here are the stats, 29k attack, precision is a bit low, but I kind of don't want to reset my stats anymore. Crit rate, 50%, crit damage, 193, damage increase, 15.47 and wind damage 10.54%. Artifacts are four piece curse and four piece expert, of course. And for the weapons, West Wind here, skill level 10 and Plum Sword skill level eight. And for the skills, we tried to use Vital Strike uh, for this run. So I'm not sure who showed this uh, tactic first, but um, I, I saw this from your comments, so I tried it. So it just so happened that I have the Vital Strike Decimated Legendary, which gives 15% attack. But for some of you guys, you might not have enough damage to be able to burst the hands with this. All of this will actually work depending on what you have. Uh, this one will work. This one will work as well with the damage dealt increase to bosses and elite monsters. This one might work as well, so just kind of adjust. I just have this with the 4163% multiplier plus the attack uh, increase 15%. So I think this is the best one in my case. So for the second skill, I use the Sonic Stream. Man, I have two legendaries already, but still not the dark magnifying slash. <laughs> but yeah, kind of just tested this uh, with uh, really good damage, to be honest. And also it gives us up to 20% attack at um, legendary but in case you don't have this of course you can't go wrong with the armor break vacuum wave for that increase in the target's damage taken so this one works well especially if you have well, strong hunters as well that can deal pretty good damage it's just that i i'm just testing this because i have it at legendary so i also did this for a couple of runs and i think i got better results using this probably because of the damage it goes up to 30 to 40 or 50 m so yeah just decide what you want to use there uh, vertical arts this one is also pretty decent with a good amount of multiplier although i would say the safest choice will still be the armor break vacuum wave and for the blessing stones i just choose of course the best ones that i have for awakening for this especially for west wind this one's uh, very crucial and then of course i have my bloodlust and my boss layer just use them and the, the full pulverize here so blessing stones are kind of situational depending on what you have so just choose the best ones that will give you the highest amount of damage output but in my case i would always get or use this uh this and of course the bloodlust as well uh, for pod and then the rest are pretty much optional already so for team number one, this is what I used, Mei Lin, Min, and Go Gun He. So this was just a test lineup that I was playing and I got a good score. So I think it worked out pretty decently. So the concept here really is just to provide Jin Wu with all the buffs that he need and focus the damage more on Jin Wu. So we have Mei Lin Fisher here which is of course has a good synergy with Gogun He with death percent, core attack increase, etc. as well as the crit rate, as well as the crit traits that are needed by Gogun He. And here are the artifacts that I used. Blessing set for Malin Fisher because her ult cooldown is much lower. And then I used one hit kill on Min. I can do this because Malin Fisher's A3 provides power gauge to teammates and that way Min was able to cast his ultimate continuously and be able to stack all the self blessing elemental damage increase and of course for Gogun He we have here 8 piece grid set so by doing this uh, Malin Fisher enabled Gogun He buffs Jin Wu as well and then Gogun He will also buff the entire team with the Will of the Brilliant Light, which is going to give a good amount of critical hit damage increase because we are playing uh, him with Min in, in the team. And then he can also buff the team with the Supernova whenever he uses the ult and if the ult uh, hits the target. Uh, so pretty much all of these are buffer with uh, Gogun He being able to destroy the hands quickly because he's gonna because he was enabled by these two in terms of his damage output. The shadows that we're using are still gonna be for the skill damage increase for the weapons as well as the 
skills that we used here for Jin Wu. And for other options, I think the, the more uh, usual one is gonna be something like this, and then probably you can use uh, this shadow, or maybe you can just use this because Jin Wu is gonna be the main DPS anyway. So kind of depends. And if you're gonna go with this approach, I would recommend just going for. 4-piece Guardian and 4-piece Sylph's Blessings here for Melin Fisher. But in my case, I kind of just tested this and then uh, gave Jin Wu the crit rates, the crit damage, the uh, continuous supply of damage increase instead of uh, having another DPS that can deal damage. So, so it's hard to compare which one will do better, but I think uh, this particular lineup worked pretty decently and worked well with the current setup that I have on Jinwoo. All right, let's go to team number two.
the wind team is still pretty stable currently we have a support we have a grid set carrier uh, that has a good damage as well and and also a consistent shield provider for that guardian set from hansemi uh and then and then of course a dps but that can break the hands pretty fast and deal high amount of damage so there's not much things to uh, explain here i'll just show you the stats just so you can compare yours as well just in case you need it all right that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and do let me know your thoughts and do let me know if you want me to try something for the next pod win pod or any pod and yeah if you like these types of content don't forget to subscribe leave a like and leave a comment as well that would help me a lot once again thank you so much and see you on the next video